<laughs> Hi people. I just thought I'd come and have a quick chat about raw food, uh, supplements and everything like that, having gained permission from various people. Now of course when you start your dog or puppy out on raw food, you want to do two weeks on just chicken and bone and it's minced, like it's literally a minced carcass that's had plenty of meat left on it and I mean, where I get it from it comes like this and you can see there that it says 100% minced chicken with bone and cartilage. Now that's how you want to feed your puppy for two weeks on that to you know because chicken is a soft bone um, you want to get as after after that period to first two week period and you, you know your dog's doing fine which they usually do you want to then start thinking of mixes now I find an 80% chicken mix to a 20% of other meat um, I don't feed salmon, I don't feed trout, I don't feed beef and I don't feed pork. I mean if you want to feed beef that's fine but just be aware that all beef, even if it's organic fed, is full of antibiotics. Um, also you want to add in a small amount of vegetables. Now we've just finished blending. Can said move back please? I see. And what I'm going to do is show you, we've just done this ourselves because the machine up at the shop is broken that is what you want your vegetables to look like you don't want it grated some dogs cannot digest a carrot they can't digest that has got four small carrots in it some sweetheart veg uh, a quarter of um, red bell pepper sweet pepper it's got a whole apple and it's got half a pack of sugar snap peas in it and that's how that comes out okay so that, that's that done don't that leak in and another bit that's important in your dog's diet is fish now please be aware of salmon poisoning disease it only affects canines strangely um, but you want oily fish now I use sprats um, which when ground up look like said sorry said look like that and I mix my own amount to chicken and I, I've got to be honest I make it about a 75 or 70 30 ratio right let me just put this back in the freezer because it's not good for any of it to be out in the sun just a second keep maintaining this we're not too entertaining that you do something stupid but you right oh hi so it's important, right? Jealous. No, said kitchen. It's important that you give as much variety as you can once you're past those first two weeks. Introduce each meat individually, you know what I mean? So once you've done the, the two weeks on just chicken, minced chicken carcasses, then you want to move on to say chicken and lamb of an 80 20 ratio. Now, this 80 10 10 is very popular which is 80% meat 10% bone 10% vegetables I don't think that's a high enough bone content content personally but you know because you, you've got to you don't want to mess up your dogs phosphorus and calcium levels it's, it's so important and obviously magnesium as well um, so you know you need to keep everything very balanced and, and the key to a successful raw diet is variety now something that a lot of people miss out and after having emailed personally with Dr. Ian Billinghurst who was the creator of biologically appropriate raw feeding one of the most important things to include in your dog's diet or puppy's diet is seaweed now I get her seaweed in the form of keepers mix which looks like this and yes I have permission from Dorwest I rang them up and asked them now this is a 500 gram and I bought this a year ago so it's not expensive either and at the moment they've got a sale on uh, uh, chondroitin and glucosamine uh, gluco yeah glucosamine and chondroitin they've got 25% off and you know right what's in um, just let me find some glasses in the keepers mix is it's 50% kelp seaweed okay it's 50% kelp seaweed um, 
then it's celery, celery seeds, alfalfa, stinging nettles, rosemary, psyllium husks, clivers, wild yam root, okay? Everything that I give said is natural. Nothing is chemical. The glucose, glu, glucose, glucosamine and chondroitin tablets, a maintenance do dose for a medium dog is half of one of these in each meal. So that's one tablet twice a day, okay? A treatment dose is one whole tablet so it's two tablets twice a no it's one tablet twice a day so it's two whole tablets you know so you start out on two tablets a day for a medium sized dog um, it says here one tablet reducing to half for small dogs and cats medium dogs two tablets reducing to one tablet large dogs three tablets reducing to one and a half tablets giant breeds four tablets reducing to two tablets daily at the moment at the moment they have got 25 percent off um on the glucosamine and i'm trying to get rid of the sun on the glucosamine and chondroitin and this is made from crustaceans and squid so again no chemicals okay so when you're feeding raw, just be aware your dog does need kelp seaweed. Um, don't go pick it off the beach, please. That's kind of not, you know, this is all sustainably grown and it is to a pharmaceutical level, okay? Um, you, you get that, you know, you get really helpful things like little leaflets, joint and mobility health. And you've got a phone number that you can ring up and get lots of advice, but you know, You've got to realise when you start your dog out on raw that you, really you do want it to be minced or ground up. If you can't, if you can't get ground and you're using wings or chicken wings or chicken legs, you have got to get a hammer and smash the bone to smithereens, okay? Because those little bits of bone, it's important that they are small because when you start a dog on raw food, their pH in their gut needs to rise a little bit, okay? Because where we've been faffing around, giving them kibble and rubbish, the pH, their natural pH has dropped a little bit. And uh, in the first two weeks, a good idea, and it's highly recommended and suggested where I buy my root raw food, which is nurturing by nature, is that you give raw organic goat's milk, which is lactose-free and very high in probiotic. So it feeds the 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 bacteria bacteria in your dog's gi tract or your dog gut so that it helps to digest bone okay um i hope that's of some help to you zed's really annoyed with me but i can live with it uh zed are you coming over apparently not zed come good girl come 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 Good girl, let's sit down because you're very pretty and I'm not. Right, wavy, wavy, please like, share and subscribe. There's a good girl.